Oops, wrong way. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. You take, you know what, three days off, and I just have forgotten how to use a stream deck. I'm sorry. <laughs> to be fair, there was a lot of stuff happening with the setup here, but hopefully it's all working now. Um, and we are back. Uh, we are back with Arkham Horror. Uh, we are going back in, heading to Kadath, where the gods dwell. Uh, I am Jeremy. This is my wife, Wendy. Hello. You all know this. We are joined, as always, by Daniel. Um, and we are heading into Where the Gods Dwell. So, uh, we're almost through this, uh, uh, this campaign. This is our, uh, penultimate scenario. Yes. Yep, only one more after this. And it is the last one with our uh, dream warriors, our dream crew. Um, I feel like I just got the hang of Tony. <laughs> I'm really going to miss him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this has been a, this has been a weird one. Uh, s switching back and forth is a little um, uh, whiplash inducing. Uh, but, uh, okay, check campaign log. If the investigators were carried to the cold wastes... We were not, and I'm very glad for that. Okay. That sounds terrible. Uh, if the investigators traveled to the cold wastes... We did. Okay. Yeah. Uh, skip to intro two. Okay. Uh, the white ship sails effortlessly through the ether. Along the way, it passes under archways of woven shadow over cerulean seas that glimmer in the moonlight and through vast swaths of dense mist. Eventually, you reach a continent far to the north, where even your intrepid captain never ventured. Colossal creatures dwell in the deep, dark ocean, a terrible danger to any ship that dares the dreadful seas. The captain moors the flying ship over a desolate landscape of ice and snow. Several moonbeams emerge from the ship's white hull, forming a gangway to the tundra below. In the distance, through a haze of snowflakes, you can barely make out the shape of a domed building. Welcome to the accursed plateau of Lang, the elderly captain says with a hint of regret in his voice. You will find no joy or peace here, only death. Please, I must implore you once more to forsake this quest and return to fairer lands. Are you sure this is where uh, you would like to disembark? You nod. The captain sighs in reply. I see. The white ship shall sail no more to this forsaken place, for it shakes me to my core. You are on your own from here. I bid you, bid you farewell and good luck, fellow traveler. You cross over bright, vivid moonbeams down onto the uh, bleak expanse below. You will find and scale the peaks of Unknown Kadath, or you will die trying. Um, so is this the North Pole? Is Santa a great old one? Maybe. Uh, he's oh, about to send sure. his sure. elves yeah. after us. Where do you think the abominable snowman comes from? Mm-hmm. Uh, gather all cards from the following counter sets. This has been done. Yeah, they're there. Uh, put the following locations into play. Plateau of Lang, Cold Wastes, Monastery of Lang, Onyx Gates, and the Onyx Castle. And you do have a suggested uh, placement this time. Like an, like an L with a... An L with a booty. <laughs> an L with junk in its trunk. Or a horse. <laughs> I mean, or potato, potato. Duck, maybe. Um. <clears throat> um, okay. Who's the graphic designer? Just saying, I did a good job with that Me? camera, and then you messed it up. But you also did with the other camera, and then it fell off and hit the table, so... <laughs> I wasn't touching it when it fell. <laughs> the classic. Therefore. Right, right up the there next to the shaggy defense. defense. Yes, is the I wasn't touching it when it happened. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. It's Ooh. right there next to the Are shaggy defense. Are you having defense. flashbacks? I'm not touching you. Anyway. No, I never did that. I never did that either. Oh, but also, no. I also am a second born. Yeah, but instead he just bite. he just go... You know I what? I never you bit used, anyone. You used the gifts God gave that you. I didn't ask for it. 
I kicked. I would just get on the ground as fast as I could so I could start kicking up in the air. Ew. You couldn't you couldn't get near me. <laughs> um each investigator begins play at the plateau of Lang. Uh, set each of the six forsaken tower locations aside out of play. Alright. Uh, set the following cards aside out of play. High yeah. Priest, not to be described. Uh, so these are all already out. I'm not going to read all these then. Uh, shuffle the remainder uh, of the cards to build the encounter deck. That's it. All right. Um, and sorry if you hear a little bit of background noise. I started a 3D print earlier that I thought would be done by now. That has 30 minutes left. So It's pretty quiet. New printer is much quieter than old printer. Um, and before we get started, I just want to say shout out... To the folks at uh, Noble Knight Games, if you have ever searched for any gaming-related stuff online, you have no doubt been served their commercials, hmm. because I know I have. A lot. <laughs> um, and as of a couple of days ago, they are now a union shop. Um, so Fantastic. Solidarity to the folks over there. Uh, we haven't actually ordered anything from them, but I think we're going to be in the future. Because if you're going to order something online, gaming related, they probably have it. And better to order it from them than Amazon. Because okay. Jeff Bezos can suck it. Um, and you can quote me on that. Jeff, Jeff if you're listening, also, own, own Twitch, which I know you own, you can suck it. They can... Subscribe with Prime is all I'm saying. What? Yeah. What, what has got you so welled up today? Jeff Be- I. This is not new. I have said, many have said, Jeff Bezos can suck it. Born in 1964? Yes. CEO, entrepreneur, Jeffrey. Uh-huh. Jeffrey Bezos. Yeah, that guy. Um... <laughs> Journey through the cold wastes, you have come to the land of Lang, a barren, icy wasteland where you believe the peak of unknown Kadath resides. All the while, a presence taunts you, gnawing at your insides. It is a a wordless, derisive voice that you cannot hear, but fill within the confines of your mind. Uh, We need six clues to advance. All right. Good thing we have a seeker. Uh, the Eye of Chaos. I see you there, playing with fate like it is all some sort of game. Did you really think you could escape my grasp? What makes you think you are the one in control? Yikes. There are, and we have a seven doom threshold before whoever this is <laughs> advances their agenda. We've got some super rude dudes over here, so I hope we don't I, find out. I don't doubt it. Um, okay. And I need to draw up my initial hand, because I have not done that yet. I drew out a pretty amazing opening hand. Yeah, this I is... kind of did, too. Yeah, this is pretty great, actually. I'm okay with this. I'd like, had to, I had to sit down and ask myself, but did if we're I going my off deck? Of, <laughs> if, if we're going off of my typical luck curve, mm. then this is nothing new for me. Um. Okay. Daniel? Await await the misery in Uh a few turns. When I tell you, (laughs) I had the Daniel luck. I kept commenting on the fact that I had my Daniel karma. We were playing um, Jaws of the Lion. Mm -hmm. Um, And you know, I'm a chaos agent. And so I just go in like, and then my health is like, and so it gets down. It's like me and an enemy, and the enemy's probably gonna kill me. It's gonna suck. Like, I don't have cards that I could just discard to uh-huh. deflect. Uh-huh. Every single time Jeremy flipped, it was a, a whiff. Like, the miss. Miss, 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 miss. I was like, I feel like Daniel right now. <laughs> Crawled out of that beguiling sewer. Survived the day. <laughs> the beguiling sewer. Uh, either 100% or 0%. Yes. We had a, we had two choices of locations to go to. One was like the putrid sewer, and the other was the beguiling sewer. Yeah, one was beguiling sewer, and the other one was like, you know, the guy from It is probably down here. And Jeremy was like, we have to go to the beguiling sewer. I feel like it was 
the hardest Gloomhaven scenario I've ever done. Even worse than those black amps. Yes. Oof. It was. Yeah, we had to split up. And bad. so. It's true. You, um, you were covered with enemies. And enemies that if they took damage, you took damage. So you had to deal big damage. It was. Uh, woof. Sorry. Back to the game at hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so in the Plateau of Ling, we have a force stability here. When an enemy attempts to spawn at an empty location, and there are no empty locations in play, spawn that enemy here instead. Okay, so any enemies we draw are going to spawn here for now, because there are no sure. empty locations that are revealed. Hmm. Okay. So it's our turn? It is. Yep. I am... Um, I'm going to go ahead and just grab my Chicago typewriter. Just in case. Does this take an action to play? Yes. Even though it's fast? Yeah, fast just means you can play it basically any time. Like, it doesn't have to be played on your turn. You can do it as a reaction to something happening. Okay. Um. Uh, I'm going to play my resource cache. Dude, y'all are sleeping on the Abuelito. I know. What is it? The best cocoa you can buy at the Grush. I may want some in a minute. I just couldn't. When you were making it, I could not. I was... It has, like, um, cinnamon and, uh, like, chili. A little, a little bit of chili powder in it. You got a little bit of extra in there. And because I'm drinking it out of my I'd rather be playing Quidditch mug, I added some Hufflepuff sparkles in there. I can add your Gryffindor in there, too. I know you can. What house are you in? He doesn't know. Daniel, I feel, is a Gryffindor, too. I feel like it's a Henderson trait. I think somebody made me do that on their phone one time, and I don't remember what the result was. You know, I told Jeremy, we were at happy hour one night, and I was like, just accept the fact you're a Gryffindor, and Jeremy's like, I am not a Gryffindor. And then, like, two weeks later, he's like, so I took the Pottermore quiz, and I'm like, mm, Gryffindor? And he's like, Maybe. I only took it because you made me mad telling me that I had to be that. And I needed to prove you wrong. How'd that go? Not well. Obviously. As is usually the case when I attempt to prove her wrong. Uh, are we moving or are we going to stay here? Yeah, what do you want to do? I have done everything I'm going to do this turn. And let's get cards out. Okay. Resources. I've got two moves left. So I can um, move. Uh, I can get resources. Well, I can tell you one of my moves is going to be this. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, okay. Yeah. CEO entrepreneur. And the ADD is strong with this one tonight. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Y'all don't have to move um, having a location to move to isn't bad because I got field work out but don't feel like you have to move because I've got other stuff I can be doing next turn to get clues um, we need six to advance mm -hmm. okay I'm also going to play place a gate here oh smart um Oh. 
Should I get out of shriveling or should I try to get out my right of seeking? Which do you think will serve you better? Shriveling is going to help when we have to fight stuff. The right of seeking is going to help us get clues. But we. I will. I know. Once I get going, you know I can I know. get the clues. <laughs> right. This guy just takes a minute to warm up. Get some cards out. So I think right of seeking. Because I have my Chicago typewriter. I've got a lightning gun and the wings. Oh, but shriveling it is. Oh, well. Y'all both said the opposite, so. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, it's up to you. Like, it, it takes me a minute to get warmed up, but once I do, yeah. I will be. I will get this out. Please. I just don't, I don't have my cards that let me play a spell for free, basically, and Rite of Seeking is really expensive. Oh, don't worry about it, man. A waste of resources. Oh, it is really expensive. Okay. Well, I've got two moves left, so I can attempt to investigate. I've got three books, no buffs. I wouldn't bother with it. Okay. Uh, do you want me to move on and see what's in the next room? Entirely up to you. What do you think, Jeremy? I think you should get a resource, draw a card, something like that, and stay here so okay. that we're together depending on what we draw out of this encounter deck. Okay. Well I will take uh two Can I use this on myself. Yeah. Well, this is choose an investigator, that includes you. Cool. Okay. I'm out. No monsters. <laughs> Daniel. Can I do the most selfish thing possible with this? I just... I, it occurred to me... That Can there, I interpret this in a selfish way? It occurred I, to me that there was a... You better warn somebody before you drop a bomb like that, Jeremy. I am shocked, shocked, I tell you. A particular <laughs> card in my deck... But what about for me? help us all. Uh-huh. Who won the most? Um, It's Wendy's favorite card, is all I'm saying. Is uh-huh. what I go looking for. Dr. Millen... Uh, glow up, people. Okay. Dynamite! Those are my two favorite cards. It would want, be one doctor of a sort. Oh, is it Cal Penn? There's a seeker, uh, Dr. Mala... Dr. Malaski is a guy I work Clear. with. But he looks like Cal Penn. It's Cal Penn. Like nerdy oh. Cal Penn. Oh. But all Cal okay. Pens are the best Cal Pens. <laughs> she would uh. leave me for Cal Penn if he offered. Not forever. <laughs> Just for a week or two. So, Cal Penn, if you're watching, <laughs> you can go hang out with Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> I'll take one of them too, please. Oh, thank you. Go ahead. Oh, good. Oh, hey. Do we need to fight anything this turn? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, we do. Um. We got a D hole of the wastes. Would you all like for me to uh, nerf feet for now? Yeah, me and my two feet are fine with that. Okay. <laughs> Your zero feet. I got D hole of wastes. Oh, well, good. Now I've got one because I got my moon out. Um, spawn at the cold waste or the great hall. Pray lowest feet, and he's a hunter. Um, what did we just do, Bob? Feet. Feet. Okay. Well, unless you need me to pick something else. No, but read that card. That is a doozy. Abandoned by the gods. Oh my god. <laughs> it's it, it's as bad as it okay, sounds. Okay, this is a peril, so technically you're not supposed to tell us about it. Yeah, that's oh. a rule. Yep. Um. So here's the I thing. I mean, you're going to see me testing again. Here's that. the thing. Please don't leave a comment. We know. The internet has very strong feelings about this. I say, and some of the internet agrees with me, um, that it's pointless. You might as well tell us about it. We just can't help you with it. So, if this were not a peril, 
we could give you cards to help you pass it. But since oh. it is, we cannot help you with it. Um, you can't commit to it. Oh, right. Interesting. Um, I mean, I think sure. that's the important part, not the keep it secret part. I, that's a card um, you tell people about, is all I'm saying. Test three head. For each point you fell by, you must choose a different number between zero and four. Each player must discard each event and asset from their hand with a printed resource cost equal to any of the chosen numbers. You would have to tell us about this. Yeah. <laughs> That's a card you tell people about. Internet. Anyway. Um, all well, right. Here's the deal. We, we abide by the rules as best as we can. I know. But we still are here to have a good time. Mm-hmm. For each point you fell by, you must choose a different... Oh, I see. Okay. Daniel? Oh, boy. You better pass this test. Uh, well, I'm committing Eureka to it, for sure. To get me to four. The skill test is successful to investigate when the test searches the top two project. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. There it is. That's that Daniel. That's that Daniel card. Enjoy karma. it while it lasts mm. because it's about to vanish and start doing the opposite. Ooh. Okay, what do I get for that? Plus two. You may instead choose to automatically fail and draw three cards. I don't think so. Uh, you're going in the discard. That's a bad news card. Don't draw that card unless you got a lot of head. All right, well, this D hole is um, kind of a rude dude, too. Okay. I'm really glad you got shriveling, babe. Mm-hmm. Six, six, and two. Hey, guess what? That's the one I want, right? Yep, that's the one I want for sure. That's the one you want. That's, you don't turn that down. Okay. Um, cold Waste or the Great Hall? Well, there is no Great Hall in place, so. The so cold Waste is the r- next room? Remember, it's. It forces it to move it here, right? Or is it an enemy or a thing? It's a monster. It, yeah, it's an enemy. It attempts to spawn in an empty location, and there are no empty locations in He play. says specifically where to go. But the, Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think this, this is empty. So, yeah, I think he goes here. I mean, he's gonna come. He's, he's going gonna, he's to. He's gonna move regardless. Yeah, he's gonna come after us anyway. Oh, it's it's if it's if there are no empty locations. Yeah, but there are. Okay, never mind. I I, I heard that wrong. When, when we were at it, so. okay, we've got My a D hole to deal with. <laughs> Sorry. Could you say that louder? My print is done. Okay, I just wanted to make sure everyone knew why you were stabbing with a... Holding a... Putty knife. Putty knife? <laughs> I gotta get it off while it's hot. Come and get it while it's hot. Oh my god. Ow. Don't cut and or burn yourself, please. Okay. Um, but it's our turn now? It is our turn now. Cool. All right. We're going to get out one uh, Dr. Christopher. Heck yeah. And then I'm going to also pull out the magnifying glass and investigate. Oh, the cold wastes are not a great place. And then I'm going to commit deduction to my test. Watch out. Okay, that's a huge success. Way right. to go, D. So I get one additional for this. I get yes. one for this and one for the success. Uh, and that means I also get plus one here. Oh, come on. And then I get a resource for each of those. Mm. Great. All right. Is that all you're doing? I mean, yeah, that's all I can do. I've, it's three 
three things. Oh. I thought you just investigated. I played Dr. Christopher, I played Magnifying Glass, and then I investigated. Okay. Um, okay. Is the worm going to hit me? No, the worm is here. Oh. He's just going to move um, in there on his next engaged. turn. He's about to be engaged with me. Oh, you're moving down there? Yeah. Oh, geez. Okay. Zero. So that is... Plus three, plus two. So three damage, please. Go. Oh. <laughs> what's a skull minus x x is the number of the current act oh so one minus one yeah easy easy hit uh so he's dead, dead. what it's a victory display victory display yeah maxed out shriveling does three damage each time it hits guys Um, I'm just over here with there's my book. There's three more clues here, but... I will get them next turn. Anytime you draw a symbol token, you take damage while investigating in this location. I only have to succeed once. So just be aware of that. Um, I, that's all my moves. Well, that kind of just took away from my plan, but I'm not mad at it. So I'm going to move there, and then I'm going to move in here to the monastery... Of Lang. Uh, the door is sealed. Just kidding. I'm not going there. I'm going to go to the Onyx Gates. It's another sealed door. The door is locked. Oh, is it? No, it's <laughs> weird. Um, I, mean, I mean, it is a gate. Uh, it just says Ling Kadath, but it doesn't say not to enter it. Okay. Um, 12 clues. Shroud of one. Onyx what? Gates. What? Onyx Gates gets one, um, per player shroud. So it has four shroud, actually. After Onyx Gates is revealed, check the campaign log. Remove one clue from Onyx Gates for each tally mark recorded next to evidence of Kadath. Oh. Oh. Hey, j -Mart. Thanks for the follow, my friend. Yeah. That's amazing. Great. Did that pop up? Nope. I don't know. Damn. I put a I put a follow animation on there. <laughs> and now I'm mad that it's not working. Um I don't see any evidence of Kadath. We got some evidence of Kadath. I thought we did. Oh no. Just kidding. Eleven. <laughs> enjoy your enjoy your feast of clues man that went from real exciting to your real trash single clue real I'm fast I'm, I'm going elsewhere don't worry about it. so do you think that like people like ninja still get like super jazzed when they see that they just got a new follower because that literally feels like christmas I don't think they can keep up with it. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. I, I've been in some bigger streams before, and that the chat is moving so fast, Ugh. and the animations are going off so fast. I you, I can't track it. I don't know how they could. <coughs> yeah, that's like the best that's feeling. Why you, thank you so much. When you get, you know, when you make it big, you make the animations that say thank you. Yeah, we have one. It just didn't work. <laughs> we'll figure um, it out. Okay. Right. Well, up. Yeah, because Jeremy smashed that monster. <laughs> yeah, is that all your turn, son? It was. Okay. Well, I say it was. One, two, no, I've still got one. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought you had oh. some left. Do you want me to go ahead and move in there? It's entirely up to you what you want to do. The way to the Onyx Castle is hidden. You cannot enter the Onyx Castle. Well, I'm going to get out my... Grody? How do you say it? 
groat wire. My groat wire? <laughs> it's grody. Someone here has never played Hitman. A groat clearly. simulator. Dude, I wanted to play Hitman so bad, but like, video games make me sick, like nauseous. My, you too? My me mama, I used to think, God, she's so bald. Oh, because... Super Mario Brothers used to do it to her. And I was like, there's something wrong with being old. It makes you sick. And then, like, it started with Call of Duty. And it's just getting I've worse and worse and worse. I've gotten motion sickness. You always have. Mm-hmm. I don't That's get... so weird. I don't get motion sickness in real life on anything. But in video games, it's like the... Like, we... It's mostly first-person games, though. It, that's definitely where it started. There, I mean, but there's like, a lot of people that, that that's the thing, and they like there. I know people take Dramamine to play video games. <laughs> Man, that's like doing a like a line of meth or however you ingest methamphetamines. But, like, you know, woo! whatever. And it's that's. <laughs> I, I I cannot relate. Is all I'm saying. Um, it depends. the the wor- The worst one for me ever was uh, Sea of Thieves. No. See if these. Is your phone ringing? No. Is your phone ringing? Mine's muted. I feel like I no. I feel like I hear the. Oh, that's. I I think that's her. Oh, good. Snoring. Snoring or pooting. Well, both probably. Um, I don't think Dakota's. She might be asleep. If Dakota's laying, she's asleep. Okay. Her head's up in a weird angle, but whatever. Okay, so your garrot wire is out. My garrote wire. Which is hilariously a, a necklace. It's a necklace. <laughs> um, that seems wow. dangerous, but okay. we are just going to sling it over, and then when yeah. you want to take it, you just... And then you choke them out. Like um, that self-defense video where they're telling you how to, like, if someone's holding you while you're sitting in your car, you, like, use a little button thing to, like, drop your seat back real fast. Yeah. And you... Grab it and flip it around on them. Yeah. Did not know that was a self defense thing. Well, it doesn't really. Well, you're a man. You don't have to know these things. But yeah. like, I don't, it doesn't work well with automated <laughs> seats. Yeah. <laughs> <Burr. I'm coming laughs> <laughs> but if someone get does ready, that, I'm about to kick <laughs> your ass. There's there. I am about to rain pain. Just hold on. <laughs> Uh, yes. Blow up. <laughs> Ari did. I did not. Okay. We are on... We are on one tonight. Uh-oh. Is this... It's I good. I one. It's good. Y'all can fight over it. <laughs> okay. Well, clearly I lost that. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, Remove yeah, another one of these. the stars are right from the game. Oh yeah, and you know what? We didn't do this last time. Uh. Oh yeah. Um. Choose an investigator. That investigator draws one card, gains one resource, and may take an immediate action as if it were their turn. Don't mind if I do. Well, I got a liar with no face. Um, <laughs> they're after the person with the most cards in their hand. So, are they gonna are they gonna spawn engage? So they're a hunter with a prey. I'm not the prey. Doesn't matter. Prey only comes into effect when it has equidistant targets it can go after. You oh. drew it, so it spawns engaged with you. Boo. Okay. Well. Uh, my extra move that I get, I'm moving back up here towards Daniel. Okay, there's your card back. Thank you for that. Um, um, Don't worry, Daniel, I got something for it. We we are um, lowering feet again. Don't it's worry, okay. Daniel, I'm coming. You don't have to flee anything if we kill it. And I'm going to let her kill it this time. Yeah, here, uh, do me a favor. Uh, just um, drop one of these on there. Okay. Just right on it's top. A bounty. So, uh, when Liar with No Face attacks you, if Whispering Chaos is in your hand, what is. 
Anybody recognize that? Yeah, no. it's right here. Okay. All right. So that's not a thing. Yeah. It's a. It will be a thing. It's just not a thing right. yet. Okay. Well, it's three fist and four HP. Okay. Uh, will you move me up there with Daniel? That's my free move. Because okay. he has a bounty on him. Yeah, Daniel. Oh. Okay. Okay. And I just realized that only does uh, horror, which I have a ton of, so it wouldn't have been a huge issue. Okay. Uh, so that was one. No. Let's just do this. Okay. Uh, there's one. One damage or one hit? Uh, one both. Okay. There is a... Uh, He's dead. Oh. Okay. You have one job. You have one job. It's not fighting monsters. Yes. Um, Okay. Would you like to come get some clues? Yes. Um, Yeah, let me do that first. Boo! There it is. I drew one of those too. The turn has begun. Oh, did uh, I take early damage yet. for that? I don't take one think damage. so. It's the symbols, but I didn't see the. Oh no, yeah, there it is. That's it. Either take one damage or lose one action. Uh, I can take a damage. Wait, did I need to. Minus one. Okay. Uh, that's going to be... If there are no clues, when clue it, you get plus two. Succeed by two. Discover one. So that gives me two. All right. And then I get two resources. Okay. Heal for one. Oh. Oh, thank you. Oh, you know what? Um, and then I'm going to draw a card. Okay. No enemies in play? No. Blow up. Six. Oh, I'm just getting yuck. All the greatest hits. You all right, Jeremy? Did you pull out hmm. your weakness? One of them. Is he spawning here? Mm, that's the location farthest from me. Gotcha. But he's coming for you. Even though it's yes. locked? Yes. Even though it's hidden? Mm-hmm. How can he come if it's hidden? Monsters can spawn in hidden locations. <clears throat> All right, I got the law. Oh, wait, never mind. Just kidding. This is a secret. Whoa. Okay, not cool. <sighs> and we said zero is a even number, yes? Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. But it's not the loneliest number. <laughs> uh, does anyone have a non-weakness treachery card? Uh, that, yeah. they, that they need canceled. Uh, this would not be a bad one to cancel. I don't like it. I can get rid of it next turn. But it would put me down to one action. 
Uh, yeah. Score. Cancel. Uh, okay. I have to place two doom on the nearest cultist. There are no cultists. Uh, so search the encounter deck and discard pile for a cultist enemy. Draw it. And shuffle the encounter deck. What was I? What was I, it I have to spawn a cultist enemy. Yeah, stupid cultists. Oh, there we go. Any empty location. Looks good to me. Is that typewriter warmed up? Yeah. And then I got a lightning gun right behind it. We got some. We got some tapping to do. I got a grody wire. I've got guns. I've got two different knives. I've got. I've got the business. I am grody wire. <laughs> okay, Josie Grossy wire. All right, my friends, are we ready? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Um. I'm gonna move down here with this acolyte. Did we put Doom on the board there? Yes, the I, did. I did. Okay. Do you want to put a bounty on? I do. Thank you for the reminder. Um, so you're going to move all the way down, but you get four turns on this character. Well, she gets a free action. No, I it's don't. Got a bounty on him. Yeah, I get a wow. free move if it has a bounty on it. I also get four moves if I have the Louisiana Lion as an ally, but he's not uh, out yet. Okay. I uh, like every single time I flip a card over, I'm like, oh hey, and then I just gotta hit him once, right? Yeah, he's got one HP. Once for three. Three fists. Minus one. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, RIP friend. Later. Is this still active? Uh no. Okay. No. Hey, I just realized there is no back. I know. Yeah, so, so they were shooting out the back. Uh, if you want to grab one of the other ones, you can. It's okay. I'll survive. Um, okay, I'm going to get this last That's why when they one. go on the shelf, they go on with this part facing forwards, because if not, it falls off. Down behind the game shelf. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whoop, whoop, Daniel! That is more than I need Daniel. for that, but okay. Um. Uh, before you do anything else, do you want to spend those clues? Yes. Yeah, we need to. Because mm -hmm. we can't get anywhere else. Yes. <laughs> Traversing the wastes of Ling is no easy task. The cold bites at your skin, and the bitter winds lash against your face. Even if you encounter no nameless monsters, the land itself may still yet claim your life. You try desperately to stay warm, but there is no refuge in the icy desolation. Mm. Exhausted, you collapse into a nearby snowdrift. To your surprise, you feel hard stone thrust into your rib cage. The pain shocks you out of your innervation, and you brush aside the snow to examine what it hides. Eventually, you uncover a curious stone idol in the shape of a horned creature, which glows and vibrates with faint energy. In the distance, you hear a stone slab shifting in the snow. Reveal the Monastery of Lang. Hmm. Spawn the set-aside high priest not to be described enemy in the Monastery of Lang. Yeah, he's got nine HP. Ooh. Um. Let's just go ahead and that on him right there. Inside the domed structure is a raised dais. Upon it sits a lumpish figure robed in yellow silk, a mask covering its face. My master has plans for you, it draws. Oh, it draws. My master has plans for you. <laughs> Jeremy! Now step forward and receive my gift. Yikes. <laughs> You shake your head. You have seen this sort of disguise before. You know what sort of creature this priest truly is. Um, as an action, if an investigator maneuvered the priest closer and, in, and an investigator stunned the priest, 
defeat the high priest not to be described. Those are the only ways to beat him? Uh, I don't know. If, yes. If the high priest not to be described is defeated, advance. Well, technically, we could just... Punch him? Kill him, but... Uh, I can move in there because it takes one clue to draw him close and then one clue per one clue per investigator so it's going to take six uh, three clues to pull him in closer three clues to uh, knock him out but it's weird because oh right so you have to be here to draw him closer you have to be here to stun him or he has to be with you to stun him. So you may not actually be in this location. Um, but if you stun him, he gets minus three fight for the remainder of the fight. But, I mean... It takes five to hit him? Yeah, I can move in there and get clues pretty fast. Is he going to move out? He's not a hunter. Alert, massive, retaliate. No, he's going to sit right there. And he will hit everyone who's in here. How hard does he hit? Just, oh, not hard. Oh, he's like... But I can absorb his attacks. For everyone? No. Just for me. So here's the thing. What? Nothing. I'm just going to go ahead and discard that. Sorry. That's got to be a turn. No, well, let's say that's got to be. Oh, yeah. No, I've got to use that. So we're not we're not going to move in there this turn, right? I can. I can. Oh, we don't have to, no, but... Um, Why wouldn't we? Because I could get out some more stuff to be able to get in there and get all of those clues in one turn. Okay. Uh, but this guy's going to move. He is, so you should not stay where you are. Honey. I'm not. I'm going in there. Okay. One, two, and then I'm going to go ahead and just punch him. Okay. God gave me these fists. And then, Daniel, you come in and work your magic. When you can. I'll take the bag. Thank you. Um, do you have a card in your deck that would be incredibly useful? If you could just, like, find it right now. Um... Sure. So there's three damage on him. One, two, okay. Th okay, I still got one left. I guess the question there's is do you want to outright kill him? Yeah. We have or, to kill him to move on. Yeah. yeah. Or do so, we yes. want to do the the? I mean, if we can just kill I just him, put three more damage on him. Then uh, those clues are ours for whatever else we need them for, right? We don't have to spend them on him. Correct. Sure. So it's not a, necessarily a bad thing. Okay. That's I'm out of turns. Um. Oh, and he has three per investigator. Yeah. So it's. Yeah. This is a moot point. We can just end him. Okay. Minus four. That one hurts, don't it? It does, but... Let's see. What is his fist? Five.
Okay. I don't know what to do with this. If you fail, choose and reveal a copy of Nyarlathotep in your hand. Mm -hmm. In your hand. I don't have one in my hand. They're set aside. That's weird. Yeah. It attacks you and is shuffled into the encounter deck. These, uh, if you speak of this card while it is in your hand and unrevealed, you are driven insane. So you just have to fight this monster with no one knowing that you have it. So I guess this isn't... Just, th it'll really F us over in the future. Yeah, those must get shuffled in at some point and they're just not in there yet. So I don't have one in my hand, so I can't do this. Okay. I just fail, I guess? That's okay. I mean, it's Ooh. not ideal, but... Huh. That's weird. Oh, well, yeah, easily. Um, okay. That's so that shriveling done, but this guy is dead. So... Get your bounty back. I investigated, yeah. and it revealed that location and that dude. Uh-huh. Y'all just killed him. I played my fingerprint kit, so I have one more move. Yes. Um, okay, so that's victory display. And now we get to advance this. Um, if you did the, if you defeated the high priest, not to be described with damage, read the following. Yo. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, as you strike it down, the creature spits foul curses at you in tongues that can scarcely be described. Its last breath is filled with hate. With the monster dispatched, you can explore its monastery in relative peace. Along the ruined walls of the stone building, tapestries depict a history of this land. A history of blood and suffering that you have no desire to remember when this is all said and done. Great snow-capped peaks loom over each of these scenes. In just one of them, a castle is woven in black thread. Whew. Beyond dreams, you believe that Kadath is the highest peak far to the north. But in order to open the gates leading to that forsaken land, you must prove that it exists. If each investigator is at the Onyx gates and no clues are on it, advance. How do we get in there? Just it's open. There. Um, oh, the Onyx gates. I was looking at that one. Yeah. But he's going to move, so anyone who's sitting there at the end of this turn is going to get hit. Do I need to get these clues? Did you say you could get them in one turn? I could likely get them all next turn. This is a thick thing, so there's a decent chance we're going to need clues at some point. Okay, I'll I'll do that. I'll do. I can't promise you that that's the case, but I'm gonna get this out then, and that'll be my turn. Okay, so now monster turn. So he's gonna move. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then growth. I have too many resources. Oh no. Oh you got an enemy weakness. Yeah. What's the location farthest from me? The castle. Oh, this guy's aloof. So we can't even get to him until we can get into the castle. That's right. He's just going to push us closer to our doom. Didn't this guy have a doom on him a second ago? No. Oh. The the cultist you killed down here did. Oh. Man. Again with this? Did anybody happen to draw a cultist enemy? No. No. Oh, 
I'm back. You killed me, but I'm back. Okay, well... I'm just I'm, gonna I... sit here and stink with cult energy. Remember when Keith I played that... <laughs> uh -huh. Remember when I played that cultist and I said all those nice things about cultists? I take them back. I take it all back. Will you discard this, please? I can't say why I was testing my fists, but I was, and don't worry about it. That said... Oh, um, yeah. I'm gonna go one, Hi. Oh, that's a fail, Hi. two, yeah. I'm actually gonna get my mm -hmm. lightning gun out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Lord, you have so many resources. <laughs> So good. Yeah. I'm about to get hit by two enemies. But that's okay. I've got health for it. Health is wealth, my friends. You're not going to get hit by this guy. He's aloof. Oh, okay. So unless you already attacked him. I'm going to move in here. I swung at him. Oh, okay. And I'm going to I'm sorry. I tentacled. That's okay, I've got nine hearts. It's my mental health that's not so good. Watch out. That is one. We're at three. Plus one. Plus two. Yep, that's it. That's got it. So that gives me plus the one. I have chouse. Plus one. Four, five, six. Ooh. And then the one I got. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Make this resources. And I'm gonna investigate again. I can use if that location is your plus two skill value for the next skill test. That's alright. It's alright. Right. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. One. So I have some bad news. I know. What's that? With both of these guys out here, we're going to advance. Okay. Oh. That's okay. Um, I'm going to play my Arcane Initiate and put two horror on her. And exhaust her as a free action to search for spell. Search top three cards for spell. And guess what? That is what I'm looking for. Yes. And again, I can't, yeah, I can't play this. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. But we can't talk um, about it because the internet gets mad. <laughs> no, I mean, there's not really the only thing left I can do. It's I can move down here, but maybe you can cancel an attack? Why? I can heal, too. Or that. Um, I can heal horror. Well, I can heal health, so. Mm. We make a pretty good team. Um, but, okay, the monsters are going to go first. So, Boo. you're going to take one heart here. Fine. Did you attack this guy? No, but he's mine. Does that matter? No, this is mine. No, that's mine. Oh, no, that uh -huh. is yours. Uh -huh. Okay. Yours is aloof. So he'll hit me. He can hit me. I can take it. Oh, you can take it a lot better than I can. Dang. Your dude got health for days. 
I have sanity. I have garbage health. We are literally exact opposites. Yeah. <laughs> I'm incredibly sane, <laughs> but very weak. And um, I'm cuckoo birds, but I will fight you for uh-huh. days. Do these characters match us in real life? I would like to plead the fifth. (laughs) Um, Go up. Yes. We said um, zero is an even number. (laughs) Zero is an even number. We googled it, and according to... That is official rule. According to iszeroanevennumber.com... It is. <sighs> okay. Okay, feet. Come on. We're not evading anybody, right? <clears throat> uh, yeah, no. Look at all your clues, Daniel. Yep. Yep. You have an embarrassment of clues. Sure do. Maximum hand size. What's our maximum hand size? Eight. Eight. Reduced by three. Checked after each time. I'm discarding unexpected courage. Two words. Asking for a friend, do treacheries count against your hand? No, they do not. Unless it says they they will explicitly say this counts against your hand size. Okay, good. Okay. I should have put some espresso on my cocoa. I'm like, ooh boy, eight <laughs> thirty. Uh, before anything else, two actions. I want to heal for one, and so are you. Ooh. Um. <clears throat> okay. Kill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number of the current act. We're on two, right? The current act three. Ooh. Well, he's still dead. So this doom is gone. Wait, did we not? Okay. Oh yes, we forgot to do this. You don't have to. Uh, do not try to run now. You are mine. You will never, ever, ever wake up. If this is act four, read the following. It is not. Well, then don't read it. I guess this just goes back. So nine more? Or it it just hangs out until act four? Oh, okay. No. So this... We're on to agenda two. But now, each one of these is... When we advance, there's something that happens beyond act four in addition to just advancing oh so now we have a five doom threshold okay uh why do you fight why do you flee i am your future i am your fate another mask for my collection another corpse for me to poop on no it says for me to wear (laughs) nice okay and now so I'm going to discard a card. You need to move down here. Just and okay. discard this. Okay. That's all I can do. You can't move? That was three actions. Dead. I would love to move. Would love it. But uh, the encounter deck had other ideas. Okay, uh, I'm going to investigate. <laughs> Actually, you know what? 
we're going to take this back. Can I do this? Am I allowed to do this? Where'd it go? Bro, there's a shroud of one, and I just failed. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. oopsie poopsie. <laughs> I'll hold on to this, and I can get rid of it next turn, but this will put me down here if I do that, and just hang on to that. Is that legal? Do you have to use actions to get rid of it? Yes. Two actions, discard deep, deeper slumber. Did the other one make you lose actions? The other one took an action to discard my card and get rid of. Okay. If you can't know about it. That doesn't help Oh, wait. I, I still have one more. I still have one more. He gets discarded. Yes. I still have one more action, so I'm going to investigate one more time. That is a success. So I got a clue. Congratulations. We are rich with clues. Uh, I'm going to exhaust my arcane initiate, which is a free action, and search for a spell. That's not the broken one, though, is it? Okay. You finally got on my nerves. <laughs> I'm like, no, it's cool, it's cool. Then I went to get that card, and it was like sticking out the back, and I couldn't get to it. I was like, that's annoying. You're like that dog sitting in the kitchen that's on fire. It's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's all fine. Um, draw a card. <sighs> there we go. Okay, that's all my actions. Uh, and this guy stays aloof. Okay. Go up. I figured it was better for me to be down here in case I drew some stupid monster. Which I didn't. Oh, wait. Uh, I mean, go ahead. Let's go ahead and do these, and then I'll advance the act. Oh, you got the clue? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why? It's okay. What? I have a... Uh, it's fine. I have a card I can play if there are clues on the location, but it'll be fine. We had to get rid of it to advance. No, I know. I just... I was thinking through my head that I would do that and then get the clue. It's okay. Sorry that I kept you from being a hero, Daniel. I just I had a plan and then it's alright. <laughs> what in the world is this? Alright, so is it our turn? Are we advancing the agenda or the act? Yes. I have to do a test. I don't understand the bottom of this. Oh, this is out. Dreamer's Curse. Test five head. For each point you fell by, take one damage to a maximum of three damage. For the purposes of counting icons committed to this skill test, book, fist, and feet icons count as matching icons, and head and question mark icons count as two matching icons. Oh, it just means you can commit other stuff to it. So... Uh, if I committed this, that head would count as two, and each of these fists would also count towards it. So you get a total of four off of this guy. Really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, here, have two books. Uh, so that gives me two. two. Yeah. Head. Yep. So that puts me at. Oh, I almost forgot that. Um, that puts me at six. And you can commit cards too. Yeah, I'm just making sure I know what I've got here. 
basically any symbol <laughs> is going to help. case scenario is I take three damage, right? God, I can't test against a five head. I should probably commit. We'll commit this. So that's two, three, four, five, three. So as long as it's not minus four or worse, I succeed. Daniel, no, say it ain't so. So does that just mean I take say the three? Say it ain't so. Yes. The max. Mm -hmm. Good thing you didn't commit. One, two, three. I did. That's a problem. Well, that oh, was fun. No, Daniel. I'm so sorry. That sucks. Yep. Are, were you missing health before that happened? No. I'm missing a lot now. I have six and I took three. You can do the math. Uh, all right. Well, that's done. Our turn? Mm-hmm. Bro, that uh, sucks. The first. Oh. Where the gods dwell. This looks like a fun, happy guy. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard that laugh before. Fantasy flight. You can also suck it. What? Each investigator loses all of their clues. Read scenario interlude grand design in the campaign guide, then advance to Act 4A, Truth and Lies. First of all, don't tell Fantasy Flight to suck it. In they, Fantasy Flight, we trust, okay? Although, can. I will say, that was a little rude. It was a little rude for them to do that to us. Uh, scenario interlude grand design read this interlude only when you're instructed to do so well I just was uh, higher and higher you scale the mountains far to the north pale light shines from atop a great black peak piercing the vibrant firmament and you know that you approach the end of your quest you spend untold hours ascending the snow-covered slopes until finally you reach the forbidden steps leading to the castle's great hall. The castle stands astride a precipice that overlooks the entire continent and the ocean beyond. It is a majestic sight. Above, uh, countless tenebrous towers loom, swathed in a vortex of snow and hail. You break a trail through the crusted snow before the castle and it soon gives way to smooth to polish onyx. The biting wind quiets to a whistle. You are bathed in a prodigious darkness that fills the vast space. Soon there is nothing but the echoing of your footsteps on the onyx floor and the quiet, lonely stillness of the great hall. Though you have crossed no doorway, you realize now where you stand inside the halls of the great ones. You expected to be met by guards, servants of the gods, or perhaps even those powerful beings themselves. But you are met only by loneliness and foreboding as chilling as the piercing winds outside. You continue forward until at last you reach the end of the hall. Here, flanked by smooth onyx pillars, you find nothing. There are no gods here. This place is long abandoned. Virgil is agape. I, I don't understand. Reveal the onyx castle and place each investigator in the great hall on its revealed side. Remove each location other than the Great Hall from the game. So do we just magically go there? Uh-huh. So this guy's so, gonna disappear. And that guy just disappears. He, was he in the victory display? Nope. 
Does he go down here or up there? Down there. Um. Here's your portal back. Randolph survived the voyage. Okay. Uh, if Randolph survived the voyage, proceed to Grand Design 2. You, tune, you turn to Randolph for answers. He has been your guide through all of this madness. Surely he will know what is going on. Finally, he says, gazing upon the hall with wide eyes, we have reached the halls of the Great Ones, upon whom it is unlawful for mortals to look. We knew it was forbidden, yet here we are, our quest complete. He turns to Virgil. Was it worth it, sir? Have you found the evidence you seek? Virgil takes a step back. What are you on about, Randolph? Was this not your idea? You were the one who led us to this on this quest to begin with. Randolph smiles and places a hand on Virgil's shoulder. Yes, I am, but I am not Randolph Carter. He pulls back his other arm and, before you can react, drives a razor-sharp blade of onyx through Virgil Gray's chest. Virgil's corpse slides to the polished floor, eyes forever frozen in tragic shock. The being that was never Randolph Carter turns toward you, its shadow shifting into myriad shapes as it stretches across the ground. Behold, its many voices growl, your just reward. If an investigator's deck contains Randolph Carter, expert dreamer, remove him from the deck for the remainder of the campaign. I'll put him over here with Virgil, since Virgil's dead. Mm-hmm. That's our locations. Uh, check campaign log. If black, if the black cat is at your side, step skip to Grand Design 4. It is not... Otherwise, skip to Grand Design 5. We are going somewhere that starts the Crawling Chaos. The Crawling Chaos spits into a hundred thousand shadows and vanishes into the cold, dank air. Randomly choose one plus one per investigator copies of the set-aside Nyarlathotep enemy without looking at them and shuffle them into the encounter deck. Remove each other copy of Nyarlathotep from the game. Shuffle the set aside Crawling Mist. Oh, all four of these go in? Mm-hmm. And each set aside copy of Myriad Forms and Whispering Chaos into the encounter deck. Along with the discard pile. Okay. Oh boy. Crawling Mist. Myriad Forms and Whispering okay. Chaos. Oh, so everything's going in. Uh, Everything but these locations. Yes, shuffle the set-aside Forsaken Tower locations and choose four at random to put into play. These locations should surround the Great Hall, one in each of the four cardinal directions, north, east, south, and west. Until, Until the end of the scenario, each Forsaken Tower is referred to by its position relative to the Great Hall as follows. Northern Tower, Eastern Tower, Southern Tower, Western Tower. Will you grab four of these? Don't look at them. I think you should look at them. Bro. I don't like any of what's happening here. Oh, but hey, Tony's quarry is here. Oh, boy. Yeah. I assume they stay? I guess so. But they're aloof, so it doesn't really matter. Well, I assume she needs to kill it. True. But I guess I don't know how your weaknesses work. I'm trying to really shuffle those real good. That was a lot of cards that just went in here. Yep. Truth and lies. Beware, for I am the one who has trapped you here, and you shall never leave. Your dreams are forever mine. Ah. You remember that trap door that was way out that we didn't find? It wouldn't let us leave. We checked it. It wouldn't have let us leave. Uh, True. As an action, we can spend one clue, look at the top three cards of the encounter deck, draw each of those cards with the hidden keyword, and discard the rest. 
Say what? Um, this is an action we can take. Our objective is to find and expose Nyarlathotep's true form by adding copies of Nyarlathotep to the victory display. If okay. one plus one per investigator copies are in the victory display, advance. So all of them. This is a lot of cards to go through. Well, as an action, we can spend a clue to look at the top three cards. Sure. It's a lot of cards. Um, there's also an action on our location that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We can like oh, actually. Sorry. What? Nothing. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, we won. We just we win. Uh huh. Uh, we got this. We won. That's what right. the that's what the app says. Yeah, the app won. says we win. Um. Okay. So we have our turns. Now, nobody has taken a action yet, right? We just we did our mythos cards, and then I advanced to this. Correct. Um. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of deeper slumber for two actions. And then I'm going to play this card. Uh, all right. So you've got a pretty full hand. It's about to get less full. Well, One, talk, two. I was talking about her. Um, how about since you got the stuff that cancels stuff, search your deck for a card what? and put it in your hand. Any card? Any card. Fast play during any player window. Choose an investigator at your location. That investigator searches his or her deck for a card, draws it, and shuffles it into your hand. Or uh, it shuffles your deck. Pick a card, any card. Mm, 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 mm. That's a pretty good card. There were no clues here, right? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Brittany, good choice. Oops. Uh... We're losing Wendy. <laughs> so the way that the lights are hitting Daniel's cards that he just set on the rail there, they look like like craft slice American cheese. You know the cheese that only tastes good at your mom's house. Uh -huh. Like, I don't know if it would taste good for me to eat that at y'all's mom's house, but, like, at my mom's house, it's the only place it tastes good. <laughs> Grilled cheese. And every mom has them. Yeah, of course. We don't have them because we're not moms, but, like... <laughs> don't eat the cards. Um... Eat the M&Ms instead. Mm-hmm. All right, I am playing <coughs> Uncage the Soul, which is going to let me play Rite of Seeking for two resources. Nice. Um, and then I am going <clears throat> to play Shriveling. Finally... I am going to play Stargazing. So we need to go investigate these locations? I would assume so. 
Uh, yes. So, our goal here is to find every copy of Nyarlathotep in here and kill it. Okay. That's going to be made easier by having clues because we can take an action to spend them to search the deck. Okay. So, getting clues is not a bad thing. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, all we need to do is find all the, the Nyarnyars. Nyarnyars, Nyarnyars, huh? Uh-huh. And kill the Nyarnyars. Kill the Nyan cats. I was about to say, is it like a Nyar? Like a Nyan? Shredding the Nyar. Shredding the Nyarlahook. Nyar Speaking of which, did you see the black cat in the uh, general deck? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I showed it to you. If it had been by our side, we would be better off. Is that the card? Like that card? No, I, I, that? I, I think it needed to be a thing in the. You, know, you got Daniel Stank on you. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll get the couch set up for you. Mm-hmm. Have fun on that. She says like the couch isn't her favorite place to sleep. <laughs> okay, what is our current act we're on? Four now. We are on four. So that thing is now minus four. I really wanted to use my grody wire. What's minus four? Skull. Oh. I still have one turn. Yeah. I'm going to pull out my double double. Your double double. Double double. Replay an event. That sounds good. I just like it because it looks like dental x rays. Glow up. Everybody yeah. likes getting dental x rays, don't they? No. <laughs> Not even close. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if it's because of my giant head, but like they have to, like, like get, like, I feel like they're going to break my jaw. Yeah, so. Every time. I'm serious. Oh. How many of these am I allowed to have in my hand? Spells, two. Boy. Yes. Um. Did you get one? Oh, I got a crawling mist. Oh. Feet? Sure. Six, seven, eight. These don't count towards hand size, right? Unless they say they do. Oh, yes. Oh, a good doggy. Yes, you are. One more, one more, one more. I was basing that off the fact that we had we had a scenario we played not that long ago where there were cards that explicitly said this counts towards your hand size um so this guy is massive anta hunter Mm -hmm. uh increase the difficulty for your attack or attempt to evade the crawling miss by one for each card in your hand with an encounter card back so i'm guessing like perils Mm mm-hmm um, it's a three fist, five HP. Three fist? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. How many HP? Five. Not five per person? Nope. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It's five for you, though, honey. Five fist. Because you've got two encounter cards in your hand. I don't give a crap. Okay. <laughs> Kaka! What do you think about that? I don't know. What do I think about that? I think that's one. One damage? Yeah. Can I put this on him? I don't know why not. Yeah. I mean, I don't really know how you're 
bounties work, but sure. How about this? Oh, oh. <laughs> That's not what I intended. But so no. Just discard it. Okay. So now, even easier. My four. Well, if you fail, well, you don't have any Althotep in your hand. I also didn't fail. He's dead. Oh. Okay. Jeez. I'll take my bounty now. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Oh, he's victory, I think. He is. Okay, I'm going to go here. Forsaken Tower of Life and Death. Kadath. You can't... You cannot use this location's ability unless another card explicitly allows you to do so. Oh. Uh, its ability is, as an action, you can fight. Choose and reveal a copy of Nyarlathotep from your hand and fight it as if it were at your location using head instead of fist. If you succeed, add that copy of Nyarlathotep to the victory display. If you fail, Nyarlathotep attacks you and is shuffled into the encounter deck. Okay, so we need to find another location that lets us use that ability. I guess this is another card explicitly allows you to do so. Okay. Uh, it's got three clues on it. Sure. Um, I'm going to use a right of seeking. What's your, what's your book? Uh, terrible, but rather seeking lets me use head, so that's all it is. Oh, okay. Um, the artwork on that card is very nice. I know, right? I'll go over here. You cannot lo use this location's ability unless you, unless another card explicitly allows you to do so. Is that the same as the one Jeremy just had? Pretty much. Except you use book. But none of that matters at this point. It's just a location with clues, right? Yeah. Pass me the bag, please. Oh. Minus four. here I'm going to spend a clue wait no I'm not yeah I don't want to discard that so I'm not going to do that so instead I'm going to also go back there okay so go up who wants it Daniel, you take it this time. What is it? Whispering Chouse South. Oh. Oh, this is hidden. I got a whispering acolyte. 
Hmm, okay. Woo woo. Um Did anybody else get an enemy I need to come punch? I did not. This is discarded. Um Well you definitely didn't. Yeah, I'm gonna take an action. I guess. Move. You do all of these. You draw a card, gain a resource, and take an immediate action as if it were your turn. And? You, yes, you do all three of those things. I thought it was or. No. Oh, jeez. Okay. You need more resources. I was worried about you going broke <laughs> yeah, over there, Daniel. I know. Like, oh. Daniel, your bill's getting paid. You all right? <laughs> um... Okay. I'm going to move here. You cannot use this card's location. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Are you dealing with that peon, honey? Yeah, I'm going to pinch his little head off. Thank you. But I just used my Garoti wire. Finally got to use it. Congratulations. On your successful Geralt. It felt really good. And then I guess I'll move down here and investigate. Hey, guess what? You cannot use this location's uh, ability unless another card explicitly allows you to do so. Mm-hmm. Cool. May I see the bag, please? Thank you. Oh, uh, pull out my magnifying glass. Oh, huh. well, that's interesting to get that late game. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. okay. Uh, just two. The one time it's not all three. Well, I'll, I got rid of my. Um, hey, card. time roller, welcome. Hey. Hope that you are feeling better. Minus four. Gross. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, okay. Well, just be aware when we advance, some things are going to happen. Some shit is going to go down? Uh-huh. Um, I'm going to spend a clue to search the top three. Okay. Did we put the clues on this location yet? Oh, no. garbage none of them yeah so what does that mean oh they just get discarded yeah they just get discarded um all right let's spend another one What are you doing? I, I'm following the instructions on the card. Oh. Oh, no. It's advancing anyway, honey. It doesn't matter. All right. Last clue. I don't really 
understand what's happening right now. I don't either. <laughs> Jeremy doesn't like to communicate. <clears throat> I am. Get married, they said. As an action, <clears throat> spend one clue. Look at the top three cards of the encounter deck. Draw each of those cards with a hidden keyword and discard the rest. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. <laughs> Jeremy doesn't like to communicate. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Would you like to talk about how those cards make you feel? Not particularly. Okay. Just checking. Does anybody have anything for me to punch? Not yet. Okay. I'm just waiting for Mr. I have 20 turns over here to 20 actions. For real. I'm done. Finally? Are you sure? Yes. You want me to give you another action? I could say that I'm the only one actually working towards our quest, but... Don't be shocked at how few there are. I think you need some taco. I am working towards our quest. That's mean to say. Look at all these clues I have up here. Spin them. I'm working on it. Mm-hmm. They're shiny. Blow up? Yes. <laughs> oh, I just got a really funny card. The bag of M and M's is desolate, like the plains of Lang. Uh oh. Um. Oh no. Hey, about this dude. Uh huh. Anyone get a cultist enemy? Cultists? No. Have we had any cultists yet? I don't like that cultist. Probably. That's a better cultist. Oh no, I don't like that cultist either. It doesn't matter. It's about to advance. Yeah, but I would put him on the board with three doom. Why would it put him on the board with three doom? Because that's what it says. Put two doom on him. And he gets oh. one for spawning. Yeah. He's not hard to kill. Yeah. Where do I put him? In any empty location? to get rid of. Yeah. There, there he goes. Okay. For the record, I didn't advance that agenda. We're all aware. So. talk about what you're doing yeah oh wait that's four not three that's four not three oh wait no head oh wait yeah mom okay I choose one Okay. Each player must discard each event and asset from their hand with a printed resource cost of one. Oh. Okay. Sorry. It did not impact me. So. I didn't think it was going to impact anybody but me. Choose a different number. What's the number we have the most of? What? What's the number we have the most of between us? 
two for me. I've got Three. a two. Do you have a two? I've got two twos. Yeah. Pick two. Okay. I discard twos. When an encounter card or enemy attack will cause you to do one of the following, including discard cards, do the opposite. Oh, so draw two cards? Draw as many cards as you have that number of. Oh. Is it in hand and in play? In hand. In hand. Okay. Well, dang, I could have failed by a lot. I've been holding on to that card for a while for like I the wish, perfect opportunity. I wish I would have known. Okay. I was about to say. You're about the fact to that it affected everyone made it the perfect opportunity. Will you discard that, please? Six. Okay. Okay. It's our turn? Mm hmm. Uh, wait. You re uh, yes, redone my puppet. This will be your last dream, your final reprieve. Then I shall take the rest for myself. I decided the crawling chouse is a hick. Mm -hmm. Place clues on each Forsaken Tower location until it has clues equal to its clue value. Reveal each car copy of Nyarlathotep in each investigator's hand. Each investigator who did not reveal a copy of Nyarlathotep must take either one damage or one horror. For each copy of Nyarlathotep revealed by an investigator, the investigator must choose. Nyarlathotep immediately attacks that investigator and is, is shuffled into the encounter deck. Um, Nyarlathotep immediately attacks that investigator three times and is returned to the investigator's hand. I don't have Nyarla Hotep. Well, here. I took a horror. Oh. And he's going to attack me. Oh. Never get a symbol with that card. Never. Okay. Doesn't he go back no. to your hand? Nope, only if I let him attack me three times. Ooh. What kind of damage does he do? Oh, he just does horror. Brains. Do we... Okay. I'll let him kill... My initiate. Because we want them in our hand, right? We want to be able to pull them out and kill them or deal with them in one of these towers. We didn't even get a chance to hit him? Nope. Fuck. Okay. Oh, sorry. Here's what I'm going to do. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Three. Is it back to be in our turn? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move here, and then I'm going to move here, and then I'm going to play... No, I can't. That's all I can do. Does this take a turn? Actually, I'm only going to move into here. You've already played this? So it's out? Uh-huh. No. Hand. It's an automatic. It just that, happens that thing automatically? Is it just... It just Reacts. Okay. It just happens. You're not gonna understand why I'm doing what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. I am gonna play my emergency cash. Which is an event. One, two, three. Which 
gets me this card. And then, because it is an event, I get to do it again. Oh boy, my skeleton key. Honey, I'm sorry to point this out, but you have to discard some cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I don't. Oh. So I miscounted. But your math. <laughs> um, but then I'm going to just pop that haste. <laughs> and I'm going to do it one more time. And I will discard a card. Okay, Daddy Warbucks. Um, have Fuck. you taken your move? I'm just going to swim. No. So, so that's one. Then I'm going to pop out my... I'm going to pull up my skeleton key. Use some of this cat. I feel like Daniel. God. <laughs> Your next skill test, you don't reveal a token for. Can I have the bag? Yours. Okay. I'll let me finish. Well, uh, I got this... But I can't. But I, I can go to zero. I just can't go below zero, right? Okay. Well, foot. Okay, that's my turn. But the good news is, friends, I have my skeleton key now. Okay. What did I not understand about that? While I was pulling an emergency cash. I just emergency need to caches understand are good. That I'm working towards our goals too. <laughs> I know you are. I'm working to my goals. Um, okay. I'm gonna move down here, and... So I just get the base value? Yep. I'm going to use the ability on the south tower here, which says evade, choose and reveal a copy of Nyarlathotep um, from your hand. If you succeed, add that copy to the victory display. If you fail, it attacks and it gets shuffled back into the encounter deck. He's got a foot of two. I got a foot of three. He's done. Whoop, whoop. One down. Nice. I can do that two more times, FYI. Okay. It takes, it takes an action for me to do that, but... Well, I have some news. You're the one who needs to start, because you have the clues, so... Start going through here? Because <laughs> I've used all mine. Well... Um, although I can... If you want to investigate i can drop the shroud by two there i have it already at one okay. so you could use your clues to go through the deck well this is this is a free action six minus three and it's at one yeah so that's a success plus Two additional clues, so that's all of these. But that's all my moves for this turn. Thank you. Like key house. Mm hmm. <laughs> this, this guy's not gonna move, right? No, he is aloof, I believe. No. And then I'm gonna go punch his head off. Oh, but he's not a hunter, so he will sit there, yeah. He's my next round. Uh. Hey. Uh, I am true chaos. Look upon my shape, for, it's ev <laughs> for it is ever-changing. Are we advancing that? No, I'm just reading what it says on the front. Oh. I commanded you to keep reading. Look upon my look not upon my face, for it is no face at all. I told you to stop uh, running. Listen not for the truth, for the truth is a lie. I warned you not to dream. 
Mine and mine alone. Nobody else can have it. I dared you not to fight. Run then, rabbit, run. There is nothing more. I cherish the chase. Nothing. Nothing. You sound like my Uncle Frank. <laughs> He's telling a really exciting story. He's a player. <laughs> um... We need to hurry. Okay. No. No, no. I'm just going to put that out there into the universe. Okay. Well, first we need to glow up, right? Yes. Skill check. Oh, shit. Okay. When it says counts as two matching icons, does that mean it counts for two? Yes. Oh, Here. that thing. Have have a head for two. Sweet, thanks. I'm gonna need it. Head for two. So it means these are worth four? Yeah. Adding question mark? Yes. Okay. So you've got four from that and two from me, six. so six. This is the one I Seven, eight. drew the squid on. No. I also had to put a doom on the agenda. It feels horror and not... Yeah. Oh. Mine dealt damage. Dang. That sucks. You got the one I should have got, and I got the one you should have got. <laughs> That's okay. I've got liquid courage. All right. Um, so how do I do this thing? What am I doing here? No, that's not it. What am I doing? Action it's up on there. Here. You spend a clue and search the top three cards. Okay. Any that have the hidden keyword on them, you do whatever they say. And any that don't get discarded. Okay. Any? Like, if more than one? Yes. Oh boy. All right. Um, so that was one clue. Let's get another clue. Do the same thing. Okie dokie. Can I have the bag, please? Yes. Well, this is fun.
Do we have all the clues? Yep. Yeah. Daniel, do I need to come punch anybody? No. Hill of horror. Thanks. I'll pull my liquid courage out next round and I can heal four or, you know, I get to put four supplies on it. And then it's like, test two head. And I'm like, I would fail. <laughs> well, I can just heal two more. Is this active? I don't think so. Are we both here? I'm here. Okay. You all right, Daniel? This is confusing. Daniel really, really, really hates being a seeker tonight. It's a squiggling line. It's a free action. Yep. Know all that. Know all that. Okay. Are you done? Yep. Okay. <laughs> Daniel. card for my special ability. Don't know where it's at. Is it a good card or a bad card? It can be both, but uh, we're just not going to worry about it. Have you had it in the past? Not tonight. But before? Yes. Okay. Dakota ate it. Okay. Chappies, what can I do? First rule of Fight Club is... Can you can you give me some books? I can give you one book. <sighs> oh. If you really need it, I can give you two more. Oh yeah, no, here. I can give you I can give you three books. Flip from this. Boy. Oh, I really hope this works. Are those all for the remaining narcolepsies that we have in there? No, they're not. Do you have narcolepsies too? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Um, Are we in our turn? Uh-huh. Okay. Then I'm going to go here. Wait, 
Choose and reveal. Revealed. Never mind. I'm going here. We'll play. I misread. Get rid of this card. This is the eastern north. Okay. Yes. Eastern. Okay. Uh, Never mind. I don't need books, honey. Daniel, do you need some feet? No. Do you need some books? I got oh, no, you don't need books. books. Yeah. I got lots of books. I'm dedicating this card. Jeremy, do you need me to move over there? I can buff. Head. I can buff you one, two. Two head. Three head if you need it. Oh! No, Daniel, no! Hold up. Did we put the doom on the agenda after our last? Hold up. Yes. Roll check. Can I enact that first on me? What are you talking about? The swirly. <sighs> to prevent myself from having to... During a revelation of... Yes, anytime it says an investigator, you can be the target. Um, yes. Yeah. Really? Yes. Then I'm going to do that instead. Because <laughs> I did not even think about that. Um, yeah. So that's just a success then. Yes, it is. Is that a dead narcolepsy? Yeah. <sighs> I glad I read that again. Um, Jeremy, do you need buffs? Hopefully not. Um, I'm dedicating this. So that's going to get me up to five head. I'm testing against two. Bingo. Booyah! Three down, one to go. Mm -hmm. And I don't have it. Oh, I've still got a move. Mm-hmm. I still have lots of moves left. Oh, yeah. Okay. You need to heal your core. I'm sorry, I used all my moves. <laughs> but I do have two more horror for you at some point. I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm back at max. Okay. Okay. Now we glow up. Yes. Dynamite blast. They need it. I'm about that life if you need it. Sounds good. Mm hmm I got a liar with no face. Oh yeah, they're fun. He's toast. 
Uh, well, the card had your gain surge. Can I have another one? It's, it didn't gain surge because it fell on the floor. <laughs> Are there any cultist enemies in play? Uh, currently, yeah. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, he gets two doom. It's a good thing he's going to be dead soon. Do you want me to fight him? Do you have a narcolepsy to fight? Uh, no. Oh, I'm, put this in there. I, I'm out of all of mine. So it's down to you, D. What can I do to help you? Do you need buffs? Well, I'm going to just saunter up here for no particular reason. But uh, before you... I'm going to also... This looks like a fun place to be. I can't get up there. Can I buff you in any way? Um, so let me think about this. So first things first. I... So I guess this is an action to reveal this guy. Action is choose and reveal a copy of blah, blah, blah. Fight it as if it were at your location. If you succeed, add that to the victory display. So does that mean she is able to attack? Sounds like it's me. <laughs> Do you disagree with that, Jeremy? Yeah. Okay. Here's the fun thing, though, that was going to also solve this problem. I'm going to use... I've got a plan to use book instead of fist for my attack. Daniel, I can just throw dynamite and kill him. Won't that hit us? It does. Yeah. I'm at three health. You can take it on either side. Let me, let me do this. I mean, I, I know you love the dynamite. It's the freaking dynamite, dude. I mean, I can also just punch him, but Daniel that's not... Daniel is arguing against blowing everything up. I know. I'm like, all we gotta do is kill this guy, and then we win. What is happening? Mass four. So, that's a hit for three damage. He has one HP. Okay, well, I throw my dynamite... <laughs> Okay. I'm just kidding. I'm going to use my freaking grody wire. I'll have a bag, please. You sure? Yeah. You can I'm throw sure. your dynamite. No. How much Stupid. damage does your dynamite do? Three. You'll be fine. But you already hit him, so. Does it end? Does that end our campaign? I really think it does. We're getting close, if not. Yeah, we've got to be close. I, I just, like, I don't want to take three horror for no reason, but I am pro-dynamite. What is our agenda number? Four. Five, six, seven. Oh, still hit! Nice. So I just... Mm-hmm. Okay. Was not nearly as fun. And this gigantic victory display we've got going on up here, and we get no XP for that. Nothing. Check the campaign log. Hold on. Wait, did we get a resolution? Not yet. Okay, check the campaign log. If the black cat knows the truth, 
and the investigators possess the silver key. That we do possess the silver key, but the black cat has a hunch. He does not know he has a hunch. Um, okay. In that case, uh, we proceed to R1. I mean, we have a whole other thing to do. Um, sure. But yeah, that's the end of this. Um, you want to say you used your dynamite? No. Okay, just check. I mean, we'll start another one soon and I'll just be all day long. <laughs> the presence taunting your mind retreats into the shadows and you are left once again with an overwhelming sense of loneliness. The vast halls of the Onyx Castle are evidence of nothing but despair and sorrow. Whatever gods once inhabited this place left long ago. Coming here was indeed folly. You car carry Virgil's corpse out into the snowy peaks of Kadath and bury him outside the castle. R.I.P. Virgil? You still do not understand what the being known as Nyarlathotep wanted with him or with you. But at least now you can leave the dreamlands behind, if that is truly what you wish to do. In your campaign log, record the dreamers escaped from Nyarlathotep's grasp. Uh, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value uh, in the victory display. Twelve. Each investigator suffers two mental trauma from the battle between truth and fiction within their own dreams. The investigators must decide. Choose one. Wake up. Remain on the surface of the dreamlands. Or venture into the underworld to find your companions. I don't have that as an option. Choose this option only if the dreamers know of another path in the campaign log. We don't. So, do we want to wake up or do we want to remain on the surface of the dreamlands? I have no opinion. I'm terrified. Huh. <laughs> so we're just like, well, that was cool. Peace out. Later, guys. Hope you wake up. Sorry, Virgil. <laughs> Sorry, our homies who are asleep back in the... Or wait. Were these the asleep ones? Mm-hmm. But the awake ones are like coming into the dream world mm -hmm. to get us. Do we know that? Uh, I think the cat told us that. Then I feel like we would... So we remain... Yeah, but I don't like that option, that choice. Like, I would like go looking for them. We're we're just gonna like set up shop and picnic up here in the on the surface. You know what we're gonna do? So uh, you want to remain on the surface? I'm good with that. I mean, of the okay. options, I feel like that's what we should do. Resolution four. Uh, you think about the many journeys you have had in the dreamlands and the fabulous things you have seen. The mystical forests, the beautiful palaces, the cerulean oceans. Uh, had you ever experienced such wonders in the waking world? Could you really return to such a mundane life after what you have experienced here? Perhaps it would be better to stay. You can escape from this dreaded land of Ling and travel back to safer climes. You can live in the timeless realm of Selefe, where pleasures are abundant, and you will never age. Or perhaps live amongst the cats in the pleasant town of Ulthar, where your quest began. Or explore the boundaries of the dreamlands and see all the marvels that it has to offer. Your mind is made up. You cannot return to the waking world. You never want to leave. 
in your campaign log, record the dream or stayed in the dreamlands forever. I, if you were playing the dream quest as a four-part campaign, the investigators win the campaign and are never seen or heard from in the waking world again. Uh, if you're playing the dream quest and the web of dreams as an interconnected eight-part campaign, um, and you have not yet played Weaver of the Cosmos, we have not, uh, proceed to that scenario. Okay, so in my defense, staying on the surface of the dream world did not translate to I'm giving up, we're staying in the dream world forever to me. But okay, that's the choice we made. I think it's fine. I mean, sure. The one you want is Resolution 5, which we can't do because supposedly the cat doesn't know the truth. Sure. Stupid cat. There have been some weird things with the cat during all this. Um, mm-hmm. I feel like something got messed up somewhere. I think we just made wrong choices when it came to the cat because we don't like cats. Because we do. Maybe. I don't yeah. know. But I, I would keep coming across stuff where it's like, this doesn't make any sense. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see when we get to the next one. Yeah, yeah I mean, we will. We didn't die, so that's a positive. Yeah, that's the thing. No, we're just in a coma forever. Yeah. Allegedly. We've got a whole other <laughs> scenario like, to I did, go. It didn't, the choices didn't read as wake up or stay in a coma forever. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. That's not, uh, I would be like, no, I'm going to wake up, but okay. It's, it's cool. Well, We're goodbye, here. Luke Robinson. It's fun while it lasted. <laughs> Later, Rex Murphy. Hope you enjoy hanging out with the cats all right so we've got one more uh scenario left in the dream eaters Mm -hmm. and we will find out what happens uh to our faithful investigators all six of them next week so stay tuned for that yes um make sure that you have subscribed so that you don't miss anything And we will see you soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.